Hey guys, Nikita here and quick tutorial of plasticity. We will create this knife here and <laughs> yeah, it's just so fun and so fast. It's just crazy. And credits goes to 3D World. I'm just translating kind of his tutorial. So let's start by creating a new scene. And before we start with our amazing tutorial, I've just launched a brand new plasticity course with four incredible separate products, a sci-fi prop, a super detailed grenade, a complex drone concept and the DJI Mavic Pro 3 camera. The entire course is explained in step-by-step -step details, no fast forwards or silent gaps, so everything is structured and edited professionally. First link in the description, let's dive into our tutorial. And let's go here to the right view, create a circle, so something like that and shift D to duplicate and we will just bring it yeah, way here to the left, so something like that. SS, we scale it up a little bit and now select them both L, so we have the shape, maybe I will just bring this a little bit further. So again, select those L for loft. And that looks fine. We can delete our circles here. We go to the top, we create a line and we go to somewhere here. So we just create that rectangle, like this angle here. C to cut the surface. And now we just delete this face and this curve. And that looks fine. So we go to the top view, uh, front view and we click shift F or if that doesn't work here, control point curve and we snap to this point. And we have to snap here to the edge because we need um, a tangency. And the same here, snap to the edge and here to this point. And now we can just drag this point and with control click. So we are sliding on this edge here. So yeah, we have something like that. We select this curve, press C and cut the surface. So now we can select the surface here and this edge and delete it. And that looks pretty fine for now. So <clears throat> now we have to create yeah, this nice flow cut here. So we need this tangency from this um, edge. So we select that, press shift D to duplicate it. We just bring it up and we go to front view and we press S and we have to make it straight. So we just make it a little bit straight and this value bring it to zero. And again G and just bring it up here to the top and again to the front view and we zoom in a little bit and again shift F and we go here to the beginning curve, drag it out so we have a tangent and yeah we just bring it somewhere here. This is fine and now we need so we can delete this one and we create it. Perfect. So we have something like that and now we have to create a second line. So shift F and somewhere here and you can obviously play a little bit around with the shape and go here to the edge. Don't go to this, um, yeah, to this outer point here. So yeah, but this is fine for now. So now we can press C and cut the sheet and the same with this one here. C cut the sheet. That looks perfect. So we can delete those two curves. We don't need them and also this extra sheet sheet. And now select all of those extra sheets and Q and Q to, yeah, to bring it together. So that looks absolutely fine. So now let's create this blade here. So we will create, um, so we will take this edge, shift D to duplicate, bring to the top view and again shift D. So we can drag it out a little bit. Obviously you can play how, yeah, how, large you want to have it and then we um, loft those two edges here and we can delete them and now we just have to create the shape so we create the line yeah bring it here to the center and just drag it out press c and cut this sheet here and we can delete both of these things and now shift f again and we have to create this angle here so we go from one end to the other end or from corner to corner, right click. And now we need an extra point to create this curve. So we subdivide the curve and take this point and control click and just here to the edge. And yeah, I think something like that is fine. So we go again to the top view, select this curve, press C and cut this edge uh, surface. 
So we can delete those two points here. Now we can both select them and press J so they are joined. And now we have to connect here and close this hole like in a smooth way. And yeah, I just <laughs> love this kind of exercises. So we select both of those points because we need continue, uh, tangency here and here. And just the best way to achieve this is if we select those two edges, shift D so we have them separate. And if you go to the point mode, you see we have those two points. So we shift click, we select them. And if we L for loft, you see we have perfect smooth flow and tangency. So this is exactly what we want. So we can select this edge here, shift D. So we can loft now this edge and this edge. Press L and shift click this one and shift click this one. Right click. Perfect. So we can delete all of those curves here. We don't need them. And look, this look how smooth and beautiful this is. So we can select the sheet and this. Press J. Perfect. So now select this whole object and thicken the sheet and just give it a little bit of a thickness. And guys, <laughs> this, it just works. It's, uh, it's so nice. So we give it a little bit of thickness. We go here to the end and we select those two edges and give them a nice fillet. And now we have to give it sharpness to this edge. So again, pretty simple. We just select this curve and we give it a chamfer, but you see it goes everywhere around. We don't need it. So we select that and we just click here on add tangent edges. So it's not activated. And you see now we can give it the sharpness, but I want it with a better angle. So I just rotate it here and look, look how sharp it is. Yeah, obviously we could give it a little bit more and, but yeah, you can play a little bit around with it. So now let's just zoom in. So we have good control over the, over the fillets and yeah, we give it here a little bit and here a little bit. So yeah, let's check it out. Absolutely beautiful. And if you want a little bit more advanced and in-depth courses, check out first link in the description. I have some cool courses on plasticity. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any other videos. See you on the next one. Bye.